Hello guys, Danny here. We already talked about the iPhone 16. There are some interesting rumors. Will they come or not? Well, we're about to find out in September. We even talked about the possibility of an Apple ring. We're far away from knowing any details about if this thing will actually come in production or not. But our next talk of the town will be the Apple Watch because in September, with their fall event, it marks the 10th anniversary of the Apple Watch. You know that there is an iPhone X and the reason why we skipped iPhone 9 was because it marked the 10th anniversary since the very first iPhone and the major thing, major difference that Apple did was to remove the Touch ID button. Yes, they updated the cameras, the battery life, the usual updates, but this was the major thing because now we have something called Face ID. So the question is what Apple will do for their 10th anniversary of the Apple Watch. Will it be Apple Watch X or just Apple Watch number 10, I guess? It won't be a surprise if they name it Apple Watch X since they did the same thing with the iPhone. So that will be interesting how they'll name their 20th iPhone if we get to that stage. But let's see what we know about the upcoming Apple Watch. We all know that the new Apple Watches come with the new iPhone. So in the middle of September, when we get the iPhone 60, we're gonna get the Apple Watch 10. This is what we're gonna call it because we don't know the official name, but this is what we know so far. Apple's annual fall event where new iPhone and Apple Watch models are revealed is likely just months away. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Apple announcing its first smartwatch and the company's popular wrist wearable is rumored to be undergoing a major overhaul to commemorate the occasion. The Apple Watch X, an official name, could have a leaner design and a new mechanism for attaching bands magnetically. According to several Bloomberg reports, we could also see added health features such as blood pressure monitoring. The name is reminiscent of the 2017 iPhone X, which saw a dramatic shift from Apple's previous design and coincided with the device's 10-year anniversary. So, as we already said, since its anniversary, we expect Apple to make something special. The question is, will they follow with the name as they did with the iPhone? Will they do a major difference as they did with the iPhone? Basically, will Apple copy what they did to the iPhone with their anniversary? To so the same thing with the Apple Watch, yes. Maybe they removed the touch ID button from the iPhone, but what exactly will they do to make the new Apple Watch different from the other one? Of course, when a device gets updated from the previous generation, it gets new features. So the question is, what are the new features for the new Apple Watch? Next year's Apple Watch could see the addition of few more health tracking features, potentially furthering its Usefulness as a wellness and fitness device. Apple may add new feature that can show when a person's blood pressure is high, according to a November article by Bloomberg. It was reportedly accompanied by a blood pressure journal, allowing people to know that when the elevation happened. But it won't provide exact systolic and diastolic measurements, Bloomberg reported. The report also suggests that the Apple Watch could get a new system for detecting sleep apnea by monitoring an individual sleeping and breathing habits. This will be a significant expansion of the Apple Watch's current sleep tracking features, which are limited compared to those offered by Aura, Fitbit and others. So as you can see, they're trying to improve the sleeping schedule. Personally, I don't track these things because, well, I decided it was not necessary. Maybe I will start. Is this a new reason for people who never had a smartwatch? to get one right now, or just to upgrade from your old one. There are people who upgrade their devices every year when a new one comes. So if you have money to spend, like, do this, it's your choice. But I'm glad that they're bringing new features and that actually it's more like a medical device, except only use it for tracking your steps or working out and exercise. It can actually help understand your health better than before. A rumor suggests that the new Apple Watch might have a blood oxygen feature. What exactly it will do? Given the current patent dispute, it's unclear whether the Apple Watch X 
We will include blood oxygen monitoring. At the moment, the Apple Watch Series 9 and Watch Ultra 2 don't ship with the feature in the US. The International Trade Commission recently ruled that the blood oxygen sensor in the Apple Watch 9 and Watch Ultra 2 infringe on patents from Massimo, a medical device maker. So basically, to not interfere with Massimo, they did not add it, but I feel like it will be great for more people because when I watched one of my favorite creators talking about the new features of the Apple Watch 9, talking about the blood pressure and maybe even when you get your period and all the other stuff that they can improve to help your health, it actually makes me more interested about my health than I have ever been before because usually I don't track these things, I don't get interested, but maybe the fact that you have it literally in the wrist of your hand, maybe now it's time for you to start taking care of your health and add a new device to your collection. We already talked about the possibility of the Apple Watch having magnetic bands. If you have a smartwatch, you know how the band usually works. You have to do it manually, like every other person. So will the magnetic bands make the Apple Watch even better? If you own or have owned an Apple Watch, you know that the bands slide into the edges of the chassis and click into a locking mechanism. After about a decade, this could change with Apple Watch X as early as this year, Apple could introduce a mechanism that lets the bands attach to the watch face magnetically. This would apparently help free up space internally to make way for other components such as bigger batteries. Which reminds me of the introduction of the iPhone 12 when they announced the MagSafe. So basically we have the MagSafe wallet, we have the MagSafe charger and many other magnetized things that can be added to. So they're doing exactly the same thing, but with the Apple Watch and their magnetic bands. So basically now we can finally have a bigger battery, hopefully, for the Apple Watch. I'm pretty sure there are people who complain about the battery life on every single device that exists. So maybe they will get satisfied if the Apple Watch finally gets a better battery life. Of course, the Apple Watch Ultra is expected to have the better battery life than the regular Apple Watch. But I'm excited to see how they would manage to do that. Last but not least, we have micro LED display. We already know that the new iPad Pros come with a nano texture display. This means that you won't see your reflection or any reflection on the screen. And it's better for you if you're playing, if you're writing slash studying or whatever you do with your iPad. So what exactly is micro LED display and how it will perform on the Apple Watch? For years, there have been rumors about the Apple Watch gaining a micro LED display. It's possible that we'll finally see those rumors come to fruition either this year or next. Bloomberg reporter Mark Gurman expects micro LED to arrive on the Apple Watch X, but it's unclear whether the smartwatch will make its debut this year or next. But a reporter by Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says that the wait might be longer. According to Kuo, the Apple Watch will have a micro LED display in either 2025 or 2026, but not in 2024. Micro LED is more energy efficient than the OLED tech currently used on the Apple Watch, but it's also brighter and more responsive than OLED screens, which would allow for more consistent viewing from all angles. We all know that when we go outside and it's sunny, we love our brighter screens, no matter if it's on the Apple Watch, on your phone, or any other device. So maybe micro LED display will do exactly this for us and give us even more brightness where we are outdoors. But the question is, will it come with the Apple Watch X or we have to wait a little bit longer? Okay, guys, that'll be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you, you wish Apple could improve about the Apple Watch. Is it bigger battery life? Another health feature that you wish it has so you don't have to use another device for this? Personally, I'm impressed with how far the Apple Watch has evolved watching all these reviews. Like, now I feel like it's not only like a step tracker device or a workout device, it's also a health device. Yes. Apple Health has been in our iPhones and Apple Patrols for quite a long time, but the fact that they keep adding new features, maybe the blood pressure, oxygen, will be a thing that some people need in their Apple Watch. We don't know what exactly should we expect from the new Apple Watch, but I can tell 
that it will be great, mostly because it's the anniversary and I know that Apple will surprise us with something, but that will be the video, hope you enjoyed, please smash that like button, you can like this video, share it with friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos, and I'm gonna see you next time, bye!